Dat is een mechanic park, toch? Ja. Yeah. Je use het toch? So we teach you drafting. Architectural, mechanical, and super drafting. Ah, all right, all right. Yeah, you're not an architect. To design, to design. We do blueprints. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll work under an architect or an engineer or... Uh, all right. Which, which program it is? You use? We use from the entire AutoCAD suite. AutoCAD suite. Solid works, okay. Range, Revit, Adventure, SolidWorks, AutoCAD, um, AutoCAD Architecture. So many, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and plus with the course, you'll be able to get uh, certifications within um, all the Autodesk programs. Uh, you'll be able to test throughout the year, about the year and a half that you're in class. All right. Um, uh, that, this program is for one year too or less? Huh? One year or or less? It's a, it's about a year and a half, a little bit longer. A ah, year and a half. Yeah. All right. Up approximately. It's um right here on the floor. You can see the amount of hours required to do it. Okay. Um. But with the high school, they're able to come in um for half time, part time, and they get it when they're eleventh and twelfth grade years. So if you're a high school student, you get this pretty much for free, um, and you can actually go right into the industry and start working for an architect, an engineer, or civil engineer. All right, that, um, that, that, that's a good point. Yeah. The requirement, but um, um, let's explain. If somebody just come and you us, you know, um, somebody just come and you us, mm -hmm. um, um, what is the requirement these people need to start to study? It's a, it's a 10... You have to test out on um, your basic skills. All right. Um, and I think it's like a 10th grade reading level at least or something like that. Or it's math. Math? Yeah, math and reading. Math and reading. But if, uh, if, you, don't, if you don't reach those levels, then you can actually get uh, tutoring for, uh, for, uh, for basic skills. All right. Uh, for and... Uh, If you get a certification in any of the different fields, I believe that that also uh, counts toward the qualifications to get into the course. Ah, can so you can go ahead and get in, register for the other classes, and then if you don't, if you could get a certification before you graduate one of those classes, that'll count toward the the uh, the skills. All right, that's good. Basically, um, basically, you got to get a um, skill and English skill. Mm -hmm. That's uh, good. English and math. English and math. Reading comprehension. Reading comprehension. Uh, and then uh, with the drafting course, you just you use the software to design and work within it. All right. Um, you're always under the guise of a architecture engineer. You're basically working for them. Um, and uh, you're able to go into schooling further to become an architecture engineer. But this is a nice place to start because it's a year and a half you're able to go right into any of those fields. Ah, that's a good one. If you're done with this part and mark out a technical college, after that, how much time you're gonna take to become an, an architect? Um, you have to do for schooling for that. It depends on which type of courses you take for the for that. Because this is a separate separate thing. It's in the wheelhouse. You'll be able to take those skills with you. Okay. But Um, you get some college credits from BC. I believe we have an agreement with them. Um, but um, if you go to any other colleges, you'll have to work with them to go ahead and get your degree from them. But the skills you take with you from here, you'll be able to bring with you there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But every, um, every, 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 every everything some someone learn, it's uh, about to make money. You know that. Uh, to get a better life. That's the beautiful thing about this. Oh, oh, all right. uh, the goal of getting graduated exactly. and getting a job, you're able job. to do that from here. All right. You do the coursework, you'll learn just enough to be able to get right into the industry, start working for them, and then if you decide to go further education, then you become that architect or engineer that can sign off on the drawings. All right. We are able to draw them, but we can't sign off on them. We're not legally liable for those drawings. All right, that's the good. All right, but uh, I'm um, I th think it like that. No if I uh, if I come right here, I learn this and I done. Where can I work with this? Where can I work? You to can make work within 
Um, FDOT has taken some of our students. Um, highway Department uh, Traffic, they, 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 they hire from uh, for civil. Um, okay. They work with architectural firms, okay. uh, mechanical firms. All right, uh, to make this, all right. They, so you'll learn enough to work in any of these three different types of engineering, of any of these different fields. Now, you could go ahead and work for a roofing company, and you could be doing ah, the roofing, the roofing company. And, and then they, they would, they have drawings. They have to have certified and written off. But you can do the drawings for them. Then the architect or engineer will look over those drawings. They'll certify them, and then they go into production. Oh, hey, that's good. That's a good one. But um, I, 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 I want to tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this video and my Facebook page, and I got a lot of friends, mm -hmm. a lot of followers over there. They're gonna see it and gonna share it everywhere, you know? I tell you that. Okay. All right, thank you, I appreciate it. No problem.